guys, welcome back. Today we are here in the kitchen and we're gonna be decorating this space for Christmas. I am really excited to get this place feeling festive and cozy, um, but truth be told, right now it's a little bit of a hot mess. <laughs> I started taking fall decor down this morning and it's a little bit messy and chaotic, so today the goal is to decorate, give everything a good wipe down and cleaning, and then we're gonna do some fun Christmas baking at the end of the video. I'm gonna make a really yummy white chocolate and cranberry cookie that my family loves every year at Christmas time. So if you are excited to decorate with me today, be sure to grab yourself a hot coffee or hot tea, get cozy and let's get decorating. But I think the first space that I wanna tackle is a garland I want to do around my kitchen window. I have a very white, bright kitchen and having pops of greenery at Christmas time is so beautiful. And I kindly wanted to thank Walmart for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I love Walmart. You cannot beat the low price points and the fast shipping options. Brands like My Texas House and Holiday Time have the most beautiful Christmas decor this season. Wreaths, garlands, um, wrapping accessories, all of the beautiful ornaments and beaded garlands and tree accessories. I mean, I walked the aisles the other day at my local Walmart and I was truly blown away by how beautiful all of the decor was. So um, I picked up a couple of things that I wanna share with you and then we'll get to decorating that kitchen window area. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to share that I picked up from Walmart is this wreath. I think it is so, so pretty. I like that it has pine and cedar stems and the little pine cones. And I loved the simplicity of it because this is a staple wreath that I can use year after year. And then I can just personally go in and change the color ribbon depending on what my color scheme is. Um, it's definitely versatile and a great staple piece to have. The price point is awesome. The wreath was $19.98 and it's from the brand Holiday Time. It's the 24 inch Sonoma Cypress wreath. So there's Cypress in there too, I missed that. But um, really pretty. I think I'm going to hang this on my door in the kitchen that leads to my mudroom. So the next thing I picked up is also from Holiday Time. I want to say almost everything I got is from that brand. Um, so many cute options, but it's this really sweet little Christmas tree. And I loved that it was in a copper planter. Uh, I love coppers all year round, but especially at Christmas time, it is so beautiful. I have some copper pots and pans and different um, copper accents that I'm using here in my kitchen. So this matches my decor perfectly and I just thought it was so cute. So last year here in my kitchen I used real cedar and while it is so beautiful it was so messy and it dried out within a couple of weeks and for someone like me who likes to decorate a little earlier I thought you know what let's invest in some faux cedar this year. So I was blown away when I found this cedar garland at Walmart. The price point is incredible, $27.88, and it's a six foot garland, um, and I think it's just cedar. Yeah, it's just a cedar garland. It's kind of a big awkward box to share, but um, look at how beautiful and lifelike this garland is. It is so pretty. So I actually picked up two of these and you can see behind me, I already have one up. I started playing with it just to be sure how I was going to hang it. Um, I think this is going to be really pretty above my kitchen sink window. So we've got that. I love a twinkly glow with anything and everything Christmas. Um, so I also picked up the holiday time LED indoor warm white <laughs> three function ultra slim wire led lights that's a mouthful but i wanted to make sure i was telling you guys the right one there we go is it focused 
can see. So they're just little twinkly fairy lights. They're battery powered. Um, so I can intertwine this throughout the garland, hang it up, and that way um, I don't have to worry about having an outlet. I love battery operated lights at Christmas time. So I got two of these and then two of those garlands. And then to go along with them, I picked up some beautiful um, satin brown ribbon. It will focus. There we go. Um, some of you may know I'm doing browns and mochas and golds this year for Christmas. And I thought this ribbon was so pretty. Found it at Walmart in the craft section. Um, the brand is Offre. And I will link this as well as everything else I mentioned down in the description below. And thanks again, Walmart, for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and get to decorating. This garland is beautiful all on its own, but if you really want to enhance your Christmas decor, definitely recommend adding fairy lights to garlands, to wreaths, any way you can, even on their own. They're just so beautiful, twinkling and glowing in the evening time, in the early morning. It just makes everything feel so magical and festive. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just adding those lights to this garland and then we'll get it hung up on the window. In case you missed it, I already shared my living room Christmas decorate with me last week and my next decorate with me will be my dining room. So if you don't want to miss that and you're new here today, first of all, I'm so glad that you're here and that you stopped by the house. But before you leave today, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below. I apologize for the lighting in the next couple of clips while I was hanging this. Filming against this window is not always easy, and it happened to be pretty dark and dreary on this day when I was filming, but I am just using simple command hooks on my window trim to hang this garland, and it was very, very simple. The garland hung beautifully. I went with more of a scalloped look. I am very into mochas and taupes and golds this Christmas. Something about those neutral, dark, deep, rich tones are so beautiful and they sort of work with Thanksgiving in a way. And I feel like I'm not gonna get as tired of my Christmas decor this season with it being a little bit more neutral. Don't get me wrong, I love reds and greens and traditional colors, but it's been fun trying something different this season. Um, but I'm just taking that satin brown ribbon that I purchased from Walmart and I'm hanging three simple bows at all three points of this garland. And I just love the way that this turned out. Very simple, but I think really elegant and definitely easy to achieve. using these mini wreaths and more of this brown ribbon to hang on my glass window pane cabinets. I did this last Christmas and I just think it's so um, festive, something a little extra. I love the pop of green against all of the white. I had quite a few people ask me why I chose mocha and some negative, not so kind comments on my last video, which I understand. It's not the norm. People expect to see reds and whites and greens and all of that. Um, but I chose this color because I'm so inspired by nature lately, whether it be pine cones or dried hydrangeas that are out in my garden, these are completely dried. They were already dried outside 
Um, by this time in the season, this is what they look like. They're fully dried out and they're sort of this rich brown color. And I thought, how can I implement this into my Christmas decor? So I cut some and I did a little arrangement in this um, ironstone bowl and I'm just adding just little sprigs of greenery and the browns and the greens together I think are so beautiful. I'm placing the floral arrangement next to my kitchen sink um, which just brings a smile to my face. I think it's so pretty. And next to that, that's actually a vintage jelly mold that I found at a thrift shop last year. But moving on to the other side of the sink, I am just cleaning up my mess from that garland yet again. And I'm gonna spray down the countertop and just kind of get everything situated over here. This is my DIY quartz spray. It is just equal parts rubbing alcohol to water. And then I added a, just a little bit of peppermint essential oil for a Christmassy scent. So normally I'm pretty minimal with my open shelving decor, but for Christmas I wanted to maximize as much as I could. So I started out with this DIY chalkboard that I made last season. I painted it with green chalk paint and then I added the lyrics, Oh come let us adore him in chalk. And I love those lyrics. I love that they help me reflect on what the Christmas season is truly all about one of my favorite worshipful Christmas songs for sure. I love that I can come downstairs in the morning and when I make my coffee, it's the first thing that I see. And then in addition to that, I'm just adding some white village houses, um, pops of greenery with that little wreath on the cake stand. I'm gonna add another wreath here in a second. Some vintage bottle brush trees. Um, cutting boards. I'm trying to stick with a color theme here of woods, greens, whites, and glass. And I think it helps it to stay a bit more cohesive. Um, gotta have some rolling pins with a crock. Baking is definitely at the top of my list during the Christmas season. And then more pops of white, which is some more ironstone. So I love how these shelves turned out. I think they're really, really cute. And to this little tray, I have a cutting board that I hide the lamp cord with, and then I added that Walmart copper Christmas tree. It looks so cute. Um, but since I was having a festive day in the kitchen, cleaning, decorating, a little bit of baking, organizing, just making this space feel homey and cozy and warm. I really like to stay on top of my kitchen this time of year with Thanksgiving coming up and just making sure this place is a sanctuary for me that I can enjoy. Um, but one of my favorite things to do during the Christmas season is make a stove top potpourri and the simmer pot can stay on all day it makes your house smell like Christmas it smells so good you can add cranberries oranges lemons rosemary pine cedar cinnamon clove vanilla whatever um, your preference is with a little bit of water and let it simmer all day and I promise your house will smell divine and because I was in this festive cozy mood I decided to whip up a quick batch of white chocolate cranberry oatmeal cookies these are a family favorite at Christmas time they are so delicious and they're very easy I will leave the recipe down in the description below for you guys And now that I'm getting those cookies in the oven, I'm trying to tidy up as I go. Typically in a video like this, I clean and then decorate, but with Christmas decor, realistically, 
sort of decorate clean, decorate clean, just because Christmas decor can tend to get messy. So um, just getting the last minute things cleaned up and then we will move on and add a few more touches of decor. I just want to remind you friend to friend here that you can have less and still have a beautifully decorated home for Christmas. Less is often more both in life and decor. <laughs> I rhymed, but it's true. Um, make sure that if you're feeling, um, less than motivated. Maybe you're having a hard time getting inspired this season because you're on a budget or, you just want to use what you already have, but it's not very inspiring. I encourage you, declutter, organize this kitchen space or whatever space it is. Give it a good, fresh clean. Clean your curtains, clean your windows, open up blinds, get some natural light in the space, and then just add a few little touches of Christmas. A simple wreath, a simple tree here and there, some fairy lights, and you will have so much peace and a space that was made beautiful within your means. Um, I feel like in this world today, it's definitely keeping up with the Joneses and that's never my intent here on this channel. I hope you know that you can make a beautiful home for Christmas on a budget, no matter what your budget. Um, but I also hope that if you're ever looking for product, you can come find it here too. I hope that I can share both, but that is it for today's video. Here is a final look at the kitchen, all bright and cheery. I love the pops of green against the white. I think the cedar garland turned out so beautiful. Definitely something I will use year after year. It fits in the space so well, and that mocha colored ribbon is stunning. Um, I'm super happy with this space, and I know that my family and I will enjoy it all season long, whether we're baking or cooking or sipping coffee. Um, I'm so grateful and thankful for this space and I'm grateful for you for watching today. If you're new here, I hope that you subscribe and I will see you all really soon in the next one. Bye.